This is about winning the race in space and the next chapter for Grand Forks. Senator Hogan has been a, a big supporter of the Space Development Agency, making all this happen. In addition, he's been a, a visionary in, in being able to see how this proliferated LEO constellation can tie directly with tactical air. Right now, you know, he's, he's been heavily involved in making sure that the tactical air community can move data around and really support the warfighter. And the future is to be able to tie those seamlessly together with this proliferated LEO constellations. We're here because SpaceX is launching their Falcon 9 rocket with two satellites from General Atomics. And we're going to do the communications with those low Earth orbit satellites from Grand Forks, North Dakota. And specifically, we've secured funding for General Atomics to develop laser communications with these satellites and unmanned aircraft, MQ-9 or Reaper aircraft, at the Grand Sky Technology Park. All right. Good. So we're on the clock. When this countdowns, that means they could start at that point. And we've got, what, about an hour after that, hour window within which to launch. 2.56 p.m. Eastern is when the window opens, and we have about an hour after that. So typically, you know, every rocket has its own unique attributes that require kind of uh, tailored infrastructure. So, for example, that, that site is, uh, is a SpaceX site. CBM. So this is our SpaceX that's, rocket here. That's our rocket there. So, so that's, that's long, Launch Complex 40. And uh, uh, that's where we'll get to see Transporter 2 launch today. So we were here uh, hoping that the uh, rocket would uh, launch today. We got within 12 seconds and they had to scrub it because uh, evidently an aircraft got within range of uh, the launch facility. And so they've scrubbed it and uh, they're planning to fire the rocket off tomorrow. There goes SpaceX Transporter 2 rocket launch. Falcon 9 rocket taking five satellites into space. Two of those are General Atomics satellites and will be communicating with those satellites from Grand Forks, not with radio waves, but with lasers.